left me in this ministry session that he was given to me to share with you? He said, Norman, there are three things that people must know about this fight. He said, there are three objectives that the devil has at the threshold. Number one, to cause you to compromise. The devil doesn't always want to kill you. He wants to compromise you. Well, look, we were going to church Sunday morning and Sunday night. Let's make a deal. Let's just go Sunday morning, not Sunday night. Okay, devil, I'll do that. We were giving greatly in the offering. Let's give less because, you know, we got this car we want to get now. Good devil. You're compromising. There were some jokes we never told, but now we're telling those jokes. Compromising. There are some things we wouldn't wear, but now we're wearing that and some more. I think one of the things there, Donna, that people miss in an apostolic church we don't really speak of the article of clothing. We speak of the spirit that promotes it. It's a spiritual factor. Always know. Somebody said, this is so pretty. Look at the colors. It takes somebody else to say, child, that's a snake. <laughs> so I just thought these colors, yes, that's the head of a cobra. And all, you know, then it's time to back up before he wake up. Are you following me? There are people that will tell you, I don't see anything wrong with this. They're babies. They don't see anything wrong with it. They've never been bitten. You take a baby and put him in, what do they call snakes? We're all, is that called a den or where all snakes are, whatever that's called? A den is a pit. That's it. And put them in a pit of snakes. A baby doesn't cry because they're playing when they're pretty. And that baby would rather be in the pit of snakes than be with his mama. He liked the little thing coming out. Little, little. <laughs> he has no idea that's poisonous. None have never been taught in it. There are certain things we wear and do we have no idea they carry spirits. Saint was talking to me last week about something and people and a few other things and I'm being vague on purpose and I said to them, you are running into a human vessel of Lucifer. They said, I'm backing up. Compromise. Second thing Satan is trying to get you to do is to change. He wants you to change. Et to To change. What God gave you at the beginning is the dream. God wants you to resurrect those dreams. Elder Brady is a person who has some writing ability. All the other stuff he's trying to do to make money, he could make 10 times that writing. You got to find where your gift is and operate in it. But you know what the devil's been doing to us? I told a man the other day, he's talking to me about writing. I said, when you pass in the inner city, it's hard to have a moment to write, then God got me. I said, well, I guess I have to learn how to prioritize my time to do that. God gave us enough time. We just got to find out how do we use this time. The last thing the devil is trying to get you to do in this fight, know the fight, know the purpose of it, 
is to quit. The devil wants you to quit. I don't care anymore. I give up. I quit. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, what God is saying to us today, you are at the threshold. You are at the last step of your problem and the first step of your miracle. You are at the last of your failure and the first step of your success. You are at the last step of your fight and the first step of your victory. The devil's causing you to be fearful of the new door of opportunity. But God told me to tell you what the old mothers used to say. Ain't no danger in the water. <laughs> oh, Elder Oliver, those old saints could sing. Hey, we'd go home signifying and making fun. We'd try to mock all of them. She'd say, ain't no danger in the water. Close. I had to get older before I understood it. Step out of the ship. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your old experience. You're being called to greater waters. And ain't no danger <laughs> in the water. The danger you've been fighting is in that ship. You got Judas. Come on here, somebody. You got folk in the ship that's giving you a fit. But if you step out the ship, you done gone too far for them. They're not going to come out there. Can you see yourself? Somebody just beating on you. I hate you. I hate you. And you say, all right, you in a ship, in a canoe. Y'all just fighting. You say, here, here, come on out here and fight. And you step out of the water. Say, come on now. You're out of the reach of that devil. You have gone to a place in faith he can't reach. What God told you has already come to pass, but you got to step out into it. God said, launch out into the deep. God told me to tell you, this is your opportunity. This is your day of blessing. This is your day. This is your hour. This is your time. This is your gateway. Glory to God. Hear me, somebody. Step over the bodies of those who have died at this threshold. Step over the bodies of those who came up at the greatest point of their deliverance. Step over the minds of those who said it can't be done. Step over those who said that you're going to fail. Step over. Get on through the gateway. Hear me, somebody. God is saying to you today, what you're in is not even a street fight. You're not in a street fight. The devil is indiscriminately trying to kill you. He's using bombs and trying to use tornadoes. And, and try, that means stirring up stuff against you. Tornadoes, stirring up whatever he can. He's using that. He's just indiscriminately. Here, let's try that. You got a kitchen sink? Throw that at him. Just so anything. Just, just stop them. They can't get through. Stop, stop, stop. God says, stand still. God says, stand still. He said, the battle's not yours. It's the Lord. God's saying, if I don't show myself as God, don't you ever preach about me again. 
If I don't show myself as God, don't testify about me anymore. If I don't show myself as God, I don't expect you to go through the sacrifice you're going through to try to help men and women. I, but if I show myself as God, I expect you to tell everybody, the Lord our God is God. I expect you to lift up your hands and lift up your heads and lift up your faith and be determined to give me worship and praise and glory and honor. Come on and praise him. Glory, 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 glory. So the Lord is saying to us, you've got to step out, ladies and gentlemen. I then keep the keys. You have the authority. I operate in Jesus' name. I this thing that is on you, uh, curse it. Uh, curse it at the root. Uh, don't let it live. Uh, you got to tell this thing, you shall not live with me another hour. I curse this at the root by the authority in Jesus. There's no room uh, for this and Jesus to live in my heart. And I'm sold out to Jesus. Uh, I have the authority. Uh, take your keys. Uh, stick it in the gateway. Uh, since you're at the threshold uh, and tell the gates uh, lift up your heads uh, all your gates uh, even lift them up ye everlasting doors uh, why uh, I am the king's son uh, why uh, I carry his glory uh, and if you won't let me in uh, let in the glory of the king uh, his reputation uh, is riding on me uh, his name uh, is riding on me. Uh, his call uh, is riding on me. Uh, lift up your head. Uh, opposition, uh, lift up your head. Uh, you that are trying to stop my progress. Uh, the king of glory uh, is coming in. Uh, who is the king of glory? Uh, he's the Lord. Uh, he's the strong one. Uh, He's the mighty one. This is to God's glory. God's honor. Oh, clap your hand and praise. Praise him. Come on, somebody. Come on. Give him praise. Come on, somebody. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. The threshold massacre. Not me. Come on, say it out loud. Not me. Not me. You didn't say it like you meant it. There's going to be an indiscriminate fight. He's going to be out to kill anybody who comes to this goal line. Who's at goal? Holler, not me. Not me. The threshold massacre. Worship God. Oh. 